Now we can we can talk about how all this comes over to uh, the balance sheet. B S. So the balance sheet is pretty pretty simple. It starts off with the balance with with the overall you know the accounting equation right what we call the accounting equation, and that means that tells us that that when we're doing accounting for the balance sheet that our total assets total assets equal our liabilities our liabilities plus equity we can call that t a equals l plus e and then we can we can further break that out right and we can say well what is total assets well, total assets is our current assets, because our current assets, assets, plus our long-term assets. So total assets equals our CA, TA equals CA plus LTA, long-term assets. Okay, got it. Now what about liabilities? Well, liabilities are kind of the same thing. We have our current debt, right? By the way, liabilities and debt, those are interchangeable. Those are the same things. So we have our current liabilities, abilities, which we can call CL. And then we also have our long-term, long-term liabilities which is LTD. The D stands for debt. Okay. <coughs> LTD. So now we see that CA plus LTA equals CL plus LTD, right? That's our total liabilities plus. And then equity, we can also remember that it's just the E. And the reason why I put it and make it look kind of fancy or or complex, so you probably say, in, turn, in, in using these formulas, is, is really to simplify it and, and let you see that when we look at the this this in a, and the, the way it's actually represented in the balance sheet in a moment, um, you can go back and look at this formula and realize how everything stacks up. Now this, this current assets, right, it can further be broken out. Right, we can look at things, the current assets, such as cash. Plus, um, we can look at things that are called our accounts, accounts receivable, and we can look at our inventories, and then we can look at our long-term assets. We'll just keep that the way it is right now. Then our current liabilities, we can look at things that are such as our uh, our current. Uh, current portion of long-term debt, CPLTD, current portion of long-term debt. We could look at our accounts payable. Now we're going to talk about what all this means, what each of these means uh, soon. I'm just showing you how this, this basic equation, assets equals liabilities plus equity, expands out to account for everything that's going to go into the balance sheet. Now the current assets and the current liabilities, right? We already talked about breaking that out. So from total assets to total to the current and long term, and the liabilities to current li liabilities and long term liabilities. The big difference here is that current assets and current liabilities, these guys, they are something that you either will get or you will pay within one year. That's the common, that's the conventional wisdom. Everything else, you know, the long-term stuff is greater than one year. Okay, so when we look at this current assets, we look at all these things that can be turned into cash within one year. It's something that we can turn into money in our pocket. So we start off with cash. Then we would say we have different ways we can expand that cash to investments and securities and so forth. Then we say, well, accounts receivable, and I'll explain this later, is money that someone owes us, right? They We sold them something, they just haven't paid us yet. At some point, that will become cash. We have inventory, 
inventory is you know those are the coffee beans and things that we or maybe the baked goods that we just we have on in inventory we just haven't sold yet eventually they will sell within one year and become cash and so that's kind of the 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 recurring theme there is that at some point it all becomes cash and the way we will list that is in its order of liquidity liquidity equals it, it is a big word liquidity um, and that means how easily easily it becomes becomes cash okay so let's now draw all this out so liquidity equals how quickly it becomes cash we looked at that we have cat all these different aspects of, the, of this blown out equation um, so now let's let's erase some of this and put it up here in a, an actual balance sheet format okay so we start off and we say our assets and we're going to look at our current assets and here we're going to see our cash and we're going to see things like our maybe short term securities because you might not want all of your money going into just sitting in cash you might want some of it to make a little bit of an interest uh, for you so you put some of it in short term securities and then you have your accounts receivable receivable and I may have misspelled that and it, and this a R accounts receivable is basically I sell something to you but you don't pay me right away you have to pay me at some point in the future so that's an asset right a short term current asset and then we have our inventories right and we'll stop right there just to just to make it simple we add all those together and we get our total current assets okay then we can look at things that are like our our plant property and equipment right these are if we're going to for example our our building our coffee building our coffee machines things that are going to last more than one year right these are our um, the the things that we use to actually build our business and that is going to give us our total or our our long term assets and people also call this sometimes fixed assets because we assume that they're going to be fixed over time okay so we'll just keep it at long-term assets but you can know that it's also called fixed assets and now we add these two together this this guy and this guy and then we get our total assets boom let's double line that one okay so keeping that in mind that assets equals liabilities plus equity now we can go down and say well what are our liabilities we've gotten this part done our liabilities we look at first our, our current liabilities right everything that's within one year and this is again greater than one year so one year we know that we have to pay say some a current portion of our long term debt uh, and that means that you know every time I, when we get a loan right from the bank for buying something we have to pay off some payments on it in the year and that's what that is what we have to pay this year then we say well we also we we have bought some things from people similar to how we sold some things to people and well we maybe have bought things like maybe some coffee that we haven't paid for yet and so we have our accounts payable we have to pay people for something that we've already done and then we have say maybe a short-term credit with the bank right so and we'll call this a revolving credit and what that means is um, the bank is kind of like a court like a credit card right we'll, we'll call it like that a credit card for a company and that means that the bank says well we will give you a chance to come in and get up to fifty thousand dollars right and you can come in here and get up to this amount throughout the year this is a hypothetical number it could be fifty million dollars it could be five thousand dollars but basically if you have twenty five thousand in this account for example you could go back to the bank and say give me 
you know, 10,000 and they won't ask any questions, right? They'll just say, okay, this $10,000, you can get it. Now you, you add that to it. You have $35,000 in your revolving credit account and you can still go out and get $15,000 more, right? So it's like using your credit card. You don't want to max it out, but you can use it to, um, to get some cash uh, and capital when you, when you need it. So we add all those up together and that gives us our current liabilities. Liabilities. Okay, great. Now we look at our long-term debt and our long-term debt could be things like our uh, mortgage. Mortgage is uh, when you buy a building, right? And you go to the bank and you say, hey bank, um, I, I need to get some money to buy this. Uh, well, the bank says, okay, well, well, the bank will give you the money, right? They'll give you the money, but it has to be secured by a property, right? So if you can't pay this money back to the bank, if you can't pay it back over time, then the bank can say, okay, that's okay. We'll take this, right? We'll take the, and that's what makes us a mortgage versus another loan. But you could have other types of long term loans, right? These are things maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe 30 years, right? Long term. The point is it's greater than one year in, in its lifetime. So we add those up together. We get our long term debt. Okay, so now we have our current liabilities and our long term liabilities. We can add all that together and we have our total liabilities, liabilities which we can also call our total debt. And then we know that we have, well, we can do the math. It's going to be total assets minus total liabilities, right? If assets equals liabilities plus equity, then equity has to equal assets minus liabilities, right? We just rearrange it. So we know that equity is going to be the remainder. Uh, and next time we'll come back and start putting in some numbers here. But remember that this is going to be is is our current right this this portion up here is current this portion here is current and in the current assets we're always talking about we, we list them in how in the order of how quickly they can become cash cash is cash right it, it it doesn't have to take any time to become it we can sell some stocks and and turn that into cash we can collect some money and turn it into cash and we can sell some inventories at some point in time and turn it into cash all to to have assets that we can turn into cash within one year. And why that will be important is because we know that we have a certain amount of liabilities that we have to pay within one year. So that's kind of a hint is that the connection between these points is going to be very important in later discussions when we talk about working capital. And that is how a company uses the money it has today to to uh, to store some of its assets to pay some of its liabilities, and then we'll look at the long term um, structure. You know how the company, you know, has the long term the big plants, properties, equipment, and how they're financing this. With we'll put these two together uh, to talk about capital expenditures and cash.